Uh, today's technology brown bag, we're going to talk about um, Evernote. And Evernote is an application that is used for collecting, creating, collaborating, um, organizing information. It's not just notes. It's not just hand, you know type notes. It can actually be images. It can be PDFs. You can combine things together, which is kind of nice. So it lets you take lots of different types of files and put them all into the same um, in, in, into the same tool, and then make them so that you can organize and search them. And it even has some OCR capability and such. And it's it's been around for I don't know about six or seven years, I think, at this point, in various levels. Um, I first got interested in it when I heard that you could use it to uh, to scan wine bottles, labels. It didn't work all that well at that point on that, but I thought it was a great idea. I might have to go back to it because the scanning seems to be working much better now. So, um, just to get to it, so um, it's cloud based, and what's really nice about it is it runs on pretty much everything under the sun. Um, there are web versions of it, there are, are iOS versions of it, there are Android versions of it, there are you pretty much name the platform, there is a version for, for Evernote, uh, Mac versions, PC versions, all that. And what's nice, again, is it syncs all the information amongst the multi your, all your devices. So you can easily tie that stuff all together. Yesterday it was a guy from, uh, there it is, the guy from that guy. Um, it's sort of, again, this sort of one workspace idea. You keep everything together, you can write, you can do whatever. Um, you can collect notes, again, images. There are also this whole um, um, e ecosystem has developed around Evernote. So there are tools that they've created plus tools that um, other third parties have created that work with it. Everything from moleskin books that you can write in that are, have a good contrast so that in theory you can copy your notes, scan your notes off of that, to um, scanners that actually will directly feed into your Evernote account. In fact, I was just looking at one this morning, one that looks like our, our um, single document scanner, page scanner type thing, um, and it's designed so that if you're on um, like iOS or Android devices, you can have it go to your account and control it from your device and all that good stuff. Um, there's even presentation tools involved in it as well. Most, of, most things you can do for free, so that's the other part, is primarily a free tool. However, there is a premium model. If this is one of these we give you some stuff for free, and if you really want other capabilities, you pay for them. So some of the OCR capabilities, which work, um, say, with an image, um, if you want them to be able to search through a PDF, that's a premium feature. And premium is 50 bucks a year, or $4.99 a month, if you do it on that basis. So, so you can do that. It is um, probably the best thing to do is just sort of go and start going into it. So I'm on the... I have my uh, Mac version of it here, and the Windows version looks pretty much the same. So organizationally, it, it works with sort of the concept of you have notes, and a note can be, again, pretty much anything. It could be images, it could be notes, it could be whatever. Um, and those can be then organized into um, notebooks. And those notebooks, can, so you can categorize as notebooks. And then each, each note within, in addition to being able to be put into a notebook, can be tagged, and you put different types of tags, sort of, you know, again, metadata sort of stuff here. You can say, you know, this is, you know, so I have some which are, I have a category called, you know, education, new college or something, and then there's, I have a tag for like Moodle related items, and I can search for anything that has Moodle as a tag in it. It will also just do searching through the actual document, but it's sort of from an organizational structure, if you want to find all your notes that have the word that have a particular tag on it, you can search by that, or you can do an actual just, you know, a straight note search as well. Make sense? Okay. Um, some new features they've added, they've added, recently they've added the ability to do chatting, and you can share these, um, so you can chat with other people in, in Evernote, because everyone loves chat now, and you can also share notebooks and notes. So um, I was working on a project a couple of weeks ago, and I had a note, and again, a really good way to do this is I was looking, here's a note I created. I was in the fine arts lab. I needed, I had a, some texts, some notes I was taking during it. I took a picture. I embedded that picture into the note, which is, again, kind of nice. Put it right there. 
and then I was able to share this directly with Robert, who has an Evernote account, and he was able to look at it and sort of understand what we were trying to do um, right from there. And again, what's nice is these notes are, are live, so that, you know it's not like you know once you've written it, it's 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 act, you can actively keep editing them, and you can when you share them, you can other people can you can share them so other people can edit them as well um, if you want. So there's that Google Docs-ish sort of aspect to it, um, but with a bit, a bit more structure, a lot easier searching and organization. And again, what's really nice is it sort of works everywhere. And it does things like OCR, you know, character recognition on, object character recognition on even images. And I'll show you how that works. Yes? You can only share it to other Evernote users. You can share to non-Evernote users, and they can view, view the notes. They can't edit them. But it will let you share. I'm sure it pops up a little window saying, hey, wouldn't you like a free Evernote account? Um, and they are free. So I think by the time you go through the I just want to see it, you've probably signed up for a new account. I'm pretty sure if I, they get you that way. But they're it's actually they're not that obnoxious, actually, in terms of, uh, well, if you get a Frankie email I account, know. then you're never going to get the note. Nice try. It, it's actually not hard to get the, um, they're not obnoxious in terms of lots of emails like some other vendors out there. Um, so it's not that bad. Again, in terms of organization, so here I'm in Evernote. I have all notes. I can look at ones that are just in particular um, notebooks. I have a Moodle Noodle um, um, notebook. Yes, you can rename notebooks because it used to probably just be called Noodle. And when we went to Moodle, I renamed it to Noodle Moodle. Noodle. Uh, so you can do that. Again, you can put images in there as well. I don't think I try to OCR that screen. Um, but um, what's, again, kind of nice is I was in a meeting. We were trying to figure out the data flow for something. We draw it out, drew it out on the board. I don't want to sit there and take notes of it. I just took a picture of it. It's now part of that. Part of that. And in theory, I could, you know, could even be OCR if there's anything in there worth OCRing. And, and what's nice is when you click on it, it actually does sort of, you know, do that. There is a presentation mode, which is a premium feature, but apparently you get it for 30 days when you click the button. So I have it for the next 30 days. So you can actually present your notes if you wanted to. Um, and again, if you use it that much, the premium features might be worthwhile. Pro um, originally, premium was pretty much they gave you more space, more more bandwidth, more space. I've never come close to using the amount that you can use in a month under the free. Um, but I guess you could if you do lots of images or, or things of that nature in it. But um, And if you go under your account info, it sort of tells you, you know, here's my current usage of 60 megabytes I've used, you know, not much. But if I go premium, I can get four gig of up updates, larger notes, better support, searching PDFs. You get to get rid of some advertisements on the screen. So again, um, to create a, a, a new note, you just literally come to the top of the screen here where it says new note. And you can say, where do you want to create that new note? You can pick a different notebook. You can move things from a note, one notebook to another. So I'll say in general. So I can just and give it a title. So I can say uh, Evernote brown bag. bag. And then just put some notes here. Here are some notes from our brown bag today. If I want to in, in, insert an image, I can just drag it in there, or I can use a camera, put it in there that way. I can combine things together. Um, there is up here. I can change fonts. I can do all that type of stuff as well. So I just literally, I just inserted the, the image in there. It's a, and I've, actually, that was easier to do from my iPad or my phone because they're sort of naturally designed to let you insert images from your photo library. So I take a picture, I do that. Now I'm on my iPad here. It's set to sync every five minutes, but I can sort of force the sync. If I go to my phone, and I go up here, disconnect airplay. I'm going to get my iPad. Okay, 
Okay, so if I go to Evernote here, there's the Evernote brown back note right there. So it's already there. If I want to add an image to this, I can say attach from my camera. Take a picture of the room. Smile. Okay. Done. That's in the note. And now if I come back to my computer, it will be in there as well. I can annotate the um, image. So, from here, and I can say, I'm going to choose tools. Tools, and I can say, text. All right. That also makes that searchable text. So if I now come back later and look for the word Frank, I will see Frank in that, in that note. I could draw circles. I can do all that kind of stuff. So really kind of nice for um, where, I've, where I've used this is I've gone to conferences. And instead of you know, trying to keep track of you know, trying to take notes all the time when they're putting up their slides, you know, sometimes they use things like SlideShare, which is a nice service where people upload their slides and you get them later. Otherwise, take pictures of the slides, and come back in afterwards and annotate them, put your notes together. Okay. So, did that there. Um, I can do things such as take a picture of a document, for example. And I'll do that here. So, I have a document which is the Fall 2016 proposed new college schedule calendar. And what, as I said before, there are third party, there are other apps. So I'm going to use something called Scannable. I'm just going to use it on my phone instead. It's a little bit easier. So Scannable is an app from Evernote, which just tied into my Evernote account. I just use my same login. Say start new. Take a picture of the document. Like that. Basically just point at it, scans it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it crashes, apparently. We'll try again. Okay, took it that time, it liked it. Maybe we'll try one more time. It's a new app. Yeah, sometimes when you're cutting edge, you're cutting edge and it crashes. Let's try that one more time. It's kind of cool. Okay. So now it has the, there we go, it has the document until it crashes again. Try it on the iPad. Maybe that was better. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take it there. You see the image? It didn't actually come out all that clear, so I'm going to redo it. Okay, that looks clear. It's clear. I'm going to say yes, let's use it. Okay. I don't need to do anything. And it is already up in Evernote. Yeah, you can send me notifications and all that. It's already saved to Evernote. If we come back to the computer. seconds. There's our picture that came in there. Oh. Well, it's doing it because it's yeah. just scaling. So if I go full screen, it'll be better. Um, also, I can get rid of this part here. I, really oh, yeah, the I can get rid of the car, out of the, rid of the side view. So I can do various different views, which I can never figure out. Now I'm lost. There we go. <laughs> now I've done it. There we go. Card view. Makes it easy. Okay. Come back. Give it a couple of seconds. In theory, that document should show up there. Um, but showing you how to, when I scan something, I just go back to notes.
here. I'm in a note here. I scanned a um, document before. Um, I, I scanned a, a, a badge before, so this is a, an image, and it found the text in the image. Okay, so. okay here, here's this document that's now come in. Not bad. But again, if I want to do something with it, I don't. It takes a couple of minutes for the OCR functionality to happen. It happens in the cloud. Um, but if I work, look for the word spring, it's not showing up yet. But again, any documents that have the word spring in it are showing up, right? right. So you, you don't get an indication of that yet? It just no, it just sort of happens eventually. It, it's mm -hmm. one of these in the background, these sort of things that just happens. It, doesn't, it just takes a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. But it will be there. But I can come into that note now. And I could add other text to it because it's just a note, right? Oops, out of that note. Yeah, I, I can come down here and just start adding additional text to it. You know, here's a draft. You know, to not distribute, etc. Right? So let's see if it's scannable now. I think it now is scannable. Go to a different notebook, completely different place. Okay. There you go. Didn't take very long, but there's the word spring. It's now being found in that scanned document. Frank is being found in the image with Frank in it. There's no other wording in that image, so obviously can't find anything else. It's kind of cool that way. There's other tools. Um, there's a draw. A, if you like to take notes by hand, they have a tool called Pen Ultimate, also free, which will let you draw and do that type of stuff. So if I go to go back to this device. Here. So, in addition to scannable, penultimate will let you do again. Create notes. So I can create a new note here. And I can say I want to click on graph paper. So if I want to do sort of an org chart sort of thing. Here and I can either just do, try to do things by hand. It's probably easier with a uh, stylus. stylus. Uh, there is actually a drawing, a typing tool. Oh. Somewhere here, there is a well, typing I guess tool. There is a typing tool, yeah. um, which will let me pull, pull up the keyboard. So, somewhere here. Thought I saw it. Um, but we'll do that and we'll just say dog. Okay. Hit OK. You see the little green arrow there? It's uploading it up into Evernote. It's uploaded into Evernote. Come back to my Evernote on here, even. There it is. What organizational? So I didn't put any on this, obviously. It's it's in a notebook called Pen Ultimate, but I can move that to um, NCF General or whatever or Brown Bags, and then I can come here and I can tag them. So hey, where are you? I come here and and on the when you say uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm in the upper left hand corner here, upper right hand corner. I can tag this image. I can add a tag here. Oh, the, it, the it, could, it could be a tag that says, you know. Um, right? I, 
I can have multiple tags. So if I want to, I can, you know. Wait, is a tag different than a so foldering? So a tag is, in addition to, things can be in a folder, but they can have multiple tags. They can be in one folder, but multiple tags. Things can be in, and tags go across folders. And then if I want to see everything by, all the things I have for a particular tag, if I come back to the, sort of the main screen here, you'll see at the bottom left there it says okay. tags. Here's all the tags I have. Versus in and if I click on one that says, for example, um, library, here's all the notes I have for library. They're across notebook. They're by, it gives you them by date. You can sort them. I can go through all these sort of, um, you know, all that type of stuff. Right? Versus a notebook. Versus notebooks, which are sort of a more general organizational tool. So I have notebooks set up for um, New College, and then inside of New College, I have sub notebooks. You don't have to do that, but you can. I have one that I've set up for like travel. Okay. So the other thing you can do is you can forward an email right into. Evernote as well. So if I come to here and I go to my email, we call it email, and I get this one here called Draft a Template for Advising Moodle. I just got this. I want to keep this in in that project. I say forward, and this isn't going to work. It's not in my address book. Sorry. I'll do this for my. Uh, it probably won't work because I don't remember the address. I can do it for my regular email. I haven't set it up for that yet. If for some reason I wanted to have this current ad in Evernote, I can come here and I can say forward and I just type, I have it in my address book as Evernote upload. I just don't remember the address. I have to add it to my new college address book. Hit send. It will automatically put it into Evernote. And if I want, I can change the title and I can put a sort of the name of the notebook I wanted to go into and have it go right there. I find when you're doing this type of stuff, it's just as easy just to say, um, you know, just go anywhere and I don't really care, and it'll just uh, come up there in a couple of seconds. Go back to the desktop. seconds that should show up there. Okay. Um, again, I can move things from one um, from one notebook to another. So back in somehow in August of 2012. Let's go to notebooks, NCF, or let's go to notes. Here are all my notes, and if I go, let's go to here, card view, and Sort by date created, show oldest, newest to oldest. Let's see if that works. Uh, do I have a, am I looking for some particular tab? Here we go, open classified. Okay. Okay. But if I wanted to move this into a different category, I can just say move it to NCF General. Move it there. notes. Here we go. There's that email that came in now. In theory, the word thank you may become um, searchable at some point. I'm not sure how well it will do that. Um, or the word courage should. Yeah. Yeah. Well, certainly it picks up the courage in, yeah. in the rest of it. It's not picking it up in the image yet. But it might at some point. So, again, you quickly send yourself things. Uh, let's see if the word dog shows up. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. So I hand wrote that dog. Yeah, yeah. And my writing's not great. Um, canine, I'm guessing, is not going to work. 
came. Right. Yeah. It, it, even I could. I, even I wouldn't figure that to so canine. Um, but again, if you were using a stylus, certainly um, that would work reasonably well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, some people get used to writing with their finger. Yeah. If you do it a lot. If you do it a lot, um, it, it gets better. It will also show you where your notes were taken. So if you want to do that capability, it's sort of useful if you're traveling, you're taking notes if you're traveling. Yeah. People use it for restaurants. You went to a restaurant, you take a picture of the menu, gives you the address. Oh, I like that a lot. OCR is the menu. You can then search for the menu, so you know the day that you can, want can to you eat. Annotate it you can annotate it. Like you this. can annotate the menu. I always go back to the restaurant and I'm like, this sounds good, but I think I had this room where I didn't like it, but I don't remember. So you can annotate it and write what you wrote, what you ate there. They actually have a whole food app for the iPad and phone. It's really just sort of structured version of this. It doesn't yeah, really add any here. capability, but otherwise. Oh, I like that. So, um, I'm, some people use Evernote religiously. Others try it and then give up on it. I tend to be a binge user of Evernote. So I find I use it for like a few weeks, and then I forget about it. Then I use it a lot. Then I stop using it. So, you know, it sort of depends. Because um, there are other tools, obviously, do a lot of things that it does. What it, it does, it does most of what it does really well, and it keeps everything together. So I, I've been trying to use it more and more, because, again, when I go into a meeting with someone, it's just easy to have it go there, the notes there. Three months later, I can find it. For certain things, um, I just use, like, a single note, like I have a, week, a monthly meeting with some people. For those, I actually have just one called monthly meeting with person, whatever, whoever, and I just sort of have made it a never-ending note, and I just stick the date of that month's meeting, and that way all my notes are that for that or together without even having to have multiple notes for that that I search together. I, I find that's kind of useful. Um, so, again, slick tool in those ways. There are, again, lots of sort of add-ons, plugins. They like to sell you. Here's the scanner, right? So for $500, you can buy a SnapScan Evernote Edition scanner. Okay. Um, so they sell lots of stuff. Some of it's actually sort of Evernote-y other stuff is just because they sell it. Why not? You buy the Evernote water bottle. <coughs> Very nice. That's it. Yeah. Um, um, divider sleeves. Again, notebooks, which are designed with the idea that you can get your notes and easily scan them in because you're going to write well. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's like the old uh, day runner thing. Where it, it's like a day runner. Yeah. And again, you can do things like um, if you upgrade to premium again for five dollars a month or forty-four ninety-nine a year, even better. Um, it is um, you can search inside of Docs in terms of PDFs and Office Docs. So if you attach Word documents or PDFs, you can search inside them, um, sort of like you can do on a Mac with um, Spotlight, but it doesn't inside of Evernote and on any device. Um, again, you can use use it for presentations. You can add more files so your images can be bigger, and again, there's more stuff on mobile that you can do. You can scan business cards with the scanning app, and, it, and if you have your LinkedIn account attached, it will actually look that person up on LinkedIn, automatically tie that in. I think it makes a request for that contact, things like that. So, um, so it's again, kind of a, 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 um, a nice overall tool. I've, I've uh, know some people around campus, um, I was talking to uh, Teresa Burris before, she's been using it for annotation, working with like RefWorks and copying things over and people use them that way is that because again they keep their notes but they also copy in the citations into here and you have them all in one place. So as you're working on something you can so sort of keep it all together. Either with and or, or instead. Mm -hmm. Yep, sort of both. I've seen it used both ways. So RefWorks, you grab the citation out of RefWorks, paste it in, oh, or you create your own citations here instead. Mm -hmm. So various ways to, to do that type of thing. Because mm -hmm. again, it will take pretty much anything, and, and a lot of apps have created interfaces into it. Um, I can put a web page into Evernote, so um, I don't know if I have the Mac set up to do that. I have my iPad set up to do that. Let's see. Never knew, never knew, never knew. Show you on my iPad. Back to the iPad.
my iPad, I go to Safari, the browser. Here was a great article. KFC introduces edible cookie cups in the UK. Right, because because really the chicken wasn't going to kill you quickly enough, right? So if I want this in Evernote, I can come here and I can click the little thing that says Evernote and save it. And now I've added this web page to Evernote with the URL as well, which is kind of nice. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Isn't that? You gotta love that. Um, really. Give it a couple of seconds. It should come in. Here we go. So I've now saved that web page again. If you're doing research on something, it's really nice. You can save a bunch of web pages, organize them into a notebook. Um, using that one. And I can now annotate them. And you can put any active HTML link in there. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, questions? How do we get started? Getting started. The key to getting started with it is to open an account, which again are free. Uh, and once you have an account, you just sort of start, you know, create, there's some, uh, the, some sample notebooks. There are some getting started videos that will walk you through some of it. There, again, if you're, if you're just doing it on your computer, it's pretty straightforward. If you're using multiple devices, again, not a big deal other than just remembering your username and password uh, so for the first time you log in. There is a web version of it as well. So I am logged in here. Ooh, I still have it. Yep. Evernote web, so we've been on here, and I'll just do a refresh on the web page here. So all that stuff we've been doing, here it is, and that's a web version. So I'm not I'm not using the app here. I'm actually in a browser, right in Chrome, and I can add notes and I can search. You know, there's my note. Oh, oops, oh, I'm sorry. Wrong screen. I'm on the other device. So, there's a web version of this. So much better before I did that. Um, the problem sitting my back to the screen. Um, there, there's a web version of it. So, come back here. And if I want, I can, you know, see all my notes. Here's the notes that we just created in the last little while. Again, I can search module. Look in the scannable document is the word module. Right. Mod one, mod two. Right. And again, I can click here and then I can make it bigger. That's changing fonts, but I can actually sort of blow up the document too. Go out of that. I can see the attachment. I can add the attachment, change the attachments. Um, go back to search. Or just go back to notes. Or notebooks. Or tags. So I have uh, tags called big data, right? So again, create the tags that's useful. And then and if you tag things, you can sort of figure out afterwards, do you want to create new notebooks? Because there's a lot of things that you want to gather together. So I like tagging a lot because it does help me sort of figure out. Again, I can do a free form search on anything. But, you know, where I did some of these things, I didn't necessarily use those terms. But now I say, hey, these are, are all related to that. So again, that's a browser version of it, which again, I can, instead of using the actual app. That's Evernote. Questions? Other than how to get started, which is go to evernote.com.
download it. It's free, at least to start. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's going to become not free? I think it will always be a free version okay. until someone buys them. Right. Um, I, I assume it'll be a free version because it's it's a model that seems to be working for them. Um, I think what's happened is they have moved certain things out of the free okay. tier. Um, some of the scanning, it's not clear for the OCRs. Work. Again, I, some question I've seen whether you used to be able to scan PDFs and get OCR of that or not. And, but, you know, obviously they'll tweak the what's in, what they need to give incentives to go to premium okay. because at some point they want to make money. I mean, obviously they're making money by advertising. There is advertising that happens and there's advertisements that pop up and, um, you know, that's what you get. And there is a bunch of other help stuff, and again, uh, travel, uh, all things that you can do. So. Does it integrate? It probably will eventually, but the other thing, like we use Basecamp a lot. I haven't used, seen using it with Basecamp. Um, I know Jessica's a big um, Evernote user. Oh. And Basecamp and Evernote. Third-party add-ons. Integration. Looks like there's some third-party add-ons for base camp to Evernote. Okay. So, again, there are a lot of sort of integration points. Um, what's sort of interesting is there is base camp, does, they, does base camp have an iOS app? Yes then you can probably add it as a share through Makes the sense. share through the share sheet. Makes sense. Sure. Just it's one of those things to sort of look at. Yeah. But again, there are a lot of apps that sort of work with it or or again because you can email into it or web page into it. Um, you can just do it that way and do the image get the image that you want in that way. But the integration would probably be from Basecamp to Evernote. No. I don't know. Because yeah. Evernote's data is pretty unstructured. Okay. Right? I mean, the thing that you're looking at is unstructured data. I like the um, tagging possibility, possibility of making your own asset management kind of tags. Mm -hmm. um, Take a picture of something. Yeah. Well, I'm, um, thinking, I'm thinking more uh, digital asset. Yep. Uh, like that, sure. Much, like a, you know, Google Apps and stuff. So what is this? Who's in it? Um, you can also do reminders. So for any, if you have an, a note and there's a, some sort of date associated with it that you want to uh, have it remind you of that, you can say add a date. And I want to say tomorrow I want it to notify me about this note, which tomorrow I'll be somewhat confused at 12.22 and it dings about a canine org chart. But, um, but you can do that and, and it'll send reminders as well. So you can, again... Um, from a project management sure. way, again, it's not Basecamp, it's not Trello, it's not Microsoft Project, but it has this, these capabilities in a much more freeform sort of way. And for a lot of us who work more freeform, um, it's kind of nice because you, you're not sort of stuck in a structure as much, and you sort of see where the how your stuff naturally sort of gathers in clumps. Like this KFC edible coffee cup. Yeah, sure. I just think that's it. Will your dog eat it? Yeah. <laughs> Even your dog will eat it. Yes. I can put this into the quantum beagle category. Mm -hmm. Quantum will uh, eat anything. There you go. But again, you know, even things like, again, email. So I stuck, um, I do have this one that I created today. Which, at some point, I'm going to want to know what the domain registration was for that. So I just forwarded the email for that domain registration. And that's a lot easier than searching my email for anything that has the word Google in it. Um, right? So. I sent you a link from uh, G Drive when I gave you permissions to use it. It's one of our internal videos. It's super short. But, yeah, so uh, you sent that now? Yeah. Let's take a look. Oh, look, Frank sent me a new. Okay, so let's open that. Make sure 
Not sure what happens when you do that. Let's grab the link. Just forward, let's, uh, I'm going to do it for my iPad just because, again, I have the uh, tool there. Ambidextrous. Yeah, I am ambidextrous, because I have that tool already, the, the integration tool I have set there already, so let's see what happens. So let's see what happens here, if I can open this in something else. Yeah, it doesn't want to let me open it. I'd have to grab the link. Yes. Yeah. Here it's showing me the link, and I can, you know. Um, and I just haven't t turned on the integration to my browser. There's a plug-in type thing I have to do. I just haven't done it. Settings. Plugins. Clearly you like it. I mean, again, I'm, as I said, I'm sort of a, um, I'm definitely a, um, most, most definitely a binge user. So I will, if, and if you sort of look at my notes, you'll see there's like, you know, go to all notes. Um, you'll see that the dates on them are, go to a different view here. Um, you'll see there's like, you know, here's a bunch in February and January, well, a lot of today, obviously, a bunch in February and then some in January, but then probably not a lot till back into, you know, a couple of, of months and then a few months where like nothing happened because I sort of forgot about it for a while and then I went back to using it. I've been using it a lot more recently again, but I, I've definitely had this pattern over the years with Evernote of, um, I use it for a few months and then I sort of forget about it. And then you say, oh, yeah, that would be a good tool for this project. So, and like again, this ability to share with other people is nice. Mm -hmm. So you can share with them. Searchability is great. Yeah, great. the searchability is great. And again, this thing like, you know, the fact that it does, you know, you know here's KFC, right? Um, and, so, and menus. Right, menus, right, right. And chicken, apparently, in the KFC. Yeah. Look at that. What? <laughs> would have been the last place I would look. That would look last. Thank you.